Have you ever wondered what it's like to bite into something you'd never considered eating in a million years? How far would you go for the ultimate street food adventure? Today, we're diving deep into the wildest, most insane street foods Asia has to offer. We're talking about creepy crawlies, bizarre textures, and flavors you've never imagined. So, are you ready to see what it takes to become a true street food warrior? Let's jump right in. First up, we have something that will make you question everything you know about snacks, fried grasshoppers. In Thailand, these crunchy critters are a popular snack sold by street vendors. You'll find them sizzling away, their golden bodies crisping up in hot oil, seasoned to perfection. They're fried until crispy and seasoned with soy sauce, giving them a savory kick that can be downright addictive. People swear they're like potato chips, but with a lot more protein. The taste? Surprisingly delicious. It's crunchy, salty, and a little nutty. Definitely more than you might expect from an insect. If you didn't know they were grasshoppers, you might even think they're just crunchy crackers. But mentally, it's a whole other story. It takes some serious courage to pop one of these into your mouth, especially when you see their little legs and antennae sticking out. But hey, you only live once, right? So muster up your bravery, grab a handful, and give them a try. You just might discover a new favorite snack hiding in the world of critters. Next, let's head to China, where chicken feet is a beloved street food delicacy. Now, this might sound a bit odd, but chicken feet are packed with flavor and often braised in a savory sauce that makes them downright irresistible. Locals eat them as a snack or side dish, and they love them for the chewy texture and rich taste. If you're scratching your head wondering how anyone could enjoy a dish that features feet, let me explain. The flavor is fantastic, and they have a unique texture that many adore. You're probably wondering, how do you even eat chicken feet? Well, you don't bite into them like you would a drumstick. Instead, you have to work your way around the bones, sucking off the skin and cartilage. It's a little bit of a challenge, but the flavor is worth it. They're usually soaked in a flavorful sauce that makes every bite tangy and delicious. And once you get the hang of it, it's a satisfying experience that connects you with the culture and culinary traditions of the region. Don't be surprised if you find yourself going back for seconds or thirds. Now let's take things up a notch with Balut from the Philippines. Balut is a fertilized duck embryo. And yes, that means you're eating of a partially developed duckling. It's often enjoyed by locals with a pinch of salt and vinegar. This dish is rich, savory, and considered an aphrodisiac. Quite the reputation for a street food, right? While it's not for everyone, it's a favorite street food in the Philippines and often served in little styrofoam containers, ready for the brave souls willing to take the plunge. The experience of eating balut is all about overcoming your mental hurdles. The broth inside the egg tastes like a really rich chicken soup, and the rest? Well, let's just say it's a texture adventure. It's tender, soft, and packed with flavor, but you have to be brave enough to dig in. It's not just a meal, it's a rite of passage for many who want to truly immerse themselves in Filipino culture. If you're into insects, silkworm pupae might be your next big challenge. In South Korea, Beyondeji is sold by street vendors as a snack, often steamed or boiled. These little guys have a crunchy outer shell and a soft, squishy center. And believe it or not, they're a great source of protein, ideal for anyone looking for an alternative to traditional snacks. The taste? It's earthy, nutty, and definitely unique. You might need to set aside any preconceived notions about what you think it should taste like. This one's a real adventure. But the texture might be the biggest hurdle here. The crunchy to squishy ratio can be a little weird for first timers. But hey, if you can get past that, you'll walk away with a serious street food badge of honor. This one is definitely for the adventurous. Vendors often serve them hot, and the aroma wafts through the air enticing curious passers-by to take a chance on this unconventional treat. Stinky Tofu, Taiwan. In Taiwan, you'll know stinky tofu is nearby long before you see it. The smell is intense. It's like a mix of old gym socks and rotten garbage. But don't let that scare you away. Stinky tofu is fermented, deep fried, and served with a tangy sauce that makes it a surprisingly tasty snack. Once you get past the smell, the flavor is actually mild with a crispy exterior and soft, fluffy interior. The sauce adds a nice tang, cutting through the funkiness of the tofu, and it's often served with pickled vegetables that enhance the experience. It's one of those dishes that takes some mental preparation, but once you're in, it's an experience you won't forget. 
Eating stinky tofu is often accompanied by a playful dare among friends, and you'll likely find yourself laughing as you push past the initial scent and into the surprisingly delicious world of fermented delights. We're not even close to being done. Things are about to get even more extreme. Stick around because we're going deeper into Asia's wildest street foods. And trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. If you thought grasshoppers were adventurous, wait until you try scorpions on a stick. In China, scorpions are skewered, fried, and sold at street food markets. The sight of these crunchy critters may raise an eyebrow or two, but once you've seen them sizzling away, it's hard not to be intrigued. They're crispy, salty, and surprisingly, not as intimidating as they look. These little creatures are crunchy and packed with protein, making them a favorite for the truly adventurous eater. The experience of biting into a scorpion? It's like munching on a crunchy chip with just a hint of saltiness. The legs are the best part, crispy and light. Don't let the look scare you off. It's all part of the street food adventure, and you'll definitely have a story to tell after trying one of these. Often served with a spicy dipping sauce, scorpions are the perfect conversation starter for anyone daring enough to try them. Snake Soup Hong Kong In Hong Kong, snake soup is considered a delicacy and is often eaten during the colder months. The soup is made with shredded snake meat, herbs, and sometimes mushrooms, and locals swear by its health benefits. It's a dish with history, often prepared with care and skill, turning a once-feared creature into a savory bowl of warmth. Locals say it tastes like chicken with a slightly firmer texture, and it's believed to have medicinal properties. Surprisingly, it didn't taste as exotic as you expected. It was like a hearty chicken soup, and if no one told you it was a snake, you probably wouldn't have guessed. The herbs and spices make the soup incredibly flavorful, and it's the kind of dish that warms you up from the inside out. If you're in Hong Kong, don't miss your chance to experience this unique dish that has captured the hearts and palates of locals for generations. Fried Beetles, Thailand. Finally, we're finishing off this extreme street food adventure in Thailand, where you can find fried beetles sold by street vendors. These little guys may look a little freaky, but they're actually packed with protein and fiber. Fried until crispy and seasoned with salt and pepper, they're crunchy, nutty, and way tastier than you might expect. Once you take that first bite, you'll realize they're not bad at all. The texture is crunchy and the flavor is surprisingly mild. It's more about the mental challenge than anything else. You might find yourself reflecting on what you're eating as you savor each crunchy bite. But if you're up for trying something that pushes your boundaries, beetles are the way to go. Many travelers find they can't resist trying them after hearing locals rave about their deliciousness. So there you have it, Asia's most insane street food adventure. Was it a mistake? Not at all. Sure, some of these dishes push the limits, but that's what makes them exciting. If you ever get the chance to try these foods, don't shy away. It's all part of the adventure, and you'll leave with unforgettable stories and maybe even a new favorite snack. If you enjoyed this insane food journey, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, share, and like. What's the craziest food you've ever tried? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, keep exploring and keep eating. Thanks for watching.